All right, y'all. Today we finna react to Strangers Share a Secret anonymously. Chicago Part Two, man. Never check out Part One, man. Go watch that joint, man. And then come back here, nigga. Just like that, but you know what I'm saying. Road to a thousand, man. Like, comment, subscribe, bro. Share the video, man. Let's get right into the reaction, man. Okay, so I guess my secret is that I'm mildly afraid of pregnant people. What? Just the idea of like having a whole entire human just like incubating inside of you until it's ready to pop and claw its way out of your body is just a little terrifying, but child life and birth is beautiful, or all that jazz. What the fuck? So when I was younger, um, I lost someone very close and very important to me. And since then I try to do everything I can for others to be with them, to support them. And sometimes it comes off as a lot, but I really try my best to make everyone feel as close and as welcome as possible. And it doesn't always come off in the most calm way, but um, I really hope people know that um, I'm always rooting for them, whether we're super close or uh, we just met. Even in my 50s, I'm still searching for Tim, who I dated in my 20s. I believe he was who I was supposed to marry, but I did not. Girl, if you don't leave Tim alone, man, Tim is probably somewhere doing something, doing who knows what, man. Girl, you, you, you leave Tim alone, man. Go, go, go find someone else, man. Tim. My secret is, I've been in a relationship for 10 years, married for eight, have two children, and I want my own house without my husband. I've been in a relationship for 10 years, married for eight, two. Why would you want a house without your husband? Like, well, like why? why? Why would you want that? So I was visiting my friends for the weekend and I was driving, it was late at night, it was dark, rainy, and I was crossing this four-way stop and there's people that were also going across the street but they went basically behind the car that I was approaching and not on the crosswalk. So I'm driving, passing forward and all of a sudden these people come from the underside of the truck that I'm going past and I hit this girl with my car and she rolls up on my hood and then tumbles down and hits the ground and I was just like, oh my gosh, are you okay? And her friends are like, what the f are you so serious? Like, why did you do that? Like, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, is she okay? And they're like, she's fine, she's fine. And they walked away into the night with nothing ever happening, no cops called, no serious injuries. I thought I was done for, I had to tell, thought I was gonna have to tell my dad and I was just, it was the most perfect situation to hit a person, so that's my uh, secret. The most perfect situation to hit a person? I mean, I mean, I guess, bro. I guess my secret would be that I'm always trying to be a better version of myself, but I'm never always meeting that expectation, I guess. It's, I'm always comparing myself to others and trying to meet their expectations, but it never really correlates for me. So I guess that's one of my flaws. One time I was at my grandmother's house and she made me and my cousin like 30 chicken nuggets and she only fed us six because she wants us to keep our girlish figure. And then I started going to therapy. Hey, yo, what the fuck? What? I think grandma should let you eat the chicken nuggets. I mean, I'm, I mean, you were, you were young, keep your gut. I don't, I don't really have much to say about that, man. I don't even know. I'm really freaked out by twins. They just, it freaks me out way too much. What the fuck, bro? I think twins are cool. Um, when I was younger and when it would rain, I would drink the puddle of water on the ground because I was too lazy to go to the water hole. Ew, what the fuck? Why? I told my teacher I was going through something. I wasn't going through nothing. I just wanted to pass the test. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, what the fuck? 
bro. I secretly like the taste of baby food and sometimes pack it in my lunch. Nah, that's weird, bro. What the fuck? Nah, that's weird, bro. I collect and carry ketchup packets in my purse. Why? You just... I still watch Minecraft videos like when I was 12 years old. Is it, I don't think there's nothing wrong with that. Nah, that's cool. It was the fifth grade. I was at my friend's house. We were in his room. We were, we were lying on the floor drawing in our sketchbooks when I, feel like, I felt like I needed to go to the bathroom. So I got up, I went into the bathroom, and it was diarrhea. It was terrible, terrible diarrhea. I look at the, the thing where you put the toilet paper. There's nothing on there. I look inside the little cupboard under the sink. There's nothing in there. I'm torn, and I don't know what to do. So I look at my socks that are on my feet. I take them off, and that's what I have to use. <laughs> I'm standing there with shit-covered socks in my hands, not knowing what to do. So I put them in my pockets and I walk out. <laughs> you could have asked, bro, for some tissue, bro. You could be like, bro, I need some tissue, bro. You didn't have to use your socks, bro. Hey, let me ask you this. No toilet paper, bro. You, you in his situation with no toilet paper, bro. Well, what y'all using, man? Bro uses socks. I don't know what the fuck I would use, I ain't gonna lie, bro. I might have to use the socks too, bro. <laughs> no, bro. So, when I began my search for work, I uh, didn't have a place to live and ended up couch surfing quite a lot. And I would go to meetups in the industry by going online to try to find out where are some great places where people can network and connect. I didn't have a job at the time, but I didn't want people to know that I didn't have a job. So at one point during our meetups and networking events, I received a business card. And so I uh, ended up getting taking this business card, heading to FedEx Kinkos, and taking this business card, changing the name and phone number and email address to my own. And then I would go to future networking events with this business card, with, adjusted to say my name. And that's how I was able to make my way into more meetups and eventually into a part-time job that turned into a full-time job. So um, it was kind of a secret that I took someone else's business card to adjust it for my own name. But in the end, it helped me start my career. Hey, man, you got awesome you story. Got you, man. You got your full-time job, bro. My secret is that I secretly wish that me and my best friend wouldn't have got into it and that we can mend our relationship, but I know it's not going to happen. So I'm just better with knowing the things that I know and knowing that her and her family is okay. Type shit. Type shit. All right. I feel like a secret that I have is that most of my, some of my close friends, like I would consider close, they don't respect me enough. Mm nor do I feel like they put enough energy or effort that I would show to them in a sense. But I don't know. I feel like it's kind of hard, and I don't want to confront them because they're really close to me, but I don't know what I should nah, do. bro. Give them around them, bro. Give them around them, bro. Who holds the secret? We do. I do. And in knowing this, I have chosen to heal with you. Gifted this opportunity just thinking about my secrets and knowing that I have been revealing some secrets to individuals that I felt was very, very important to me. And one of those individuals that I just felt, I want to make sure you always are protected any way I could. And doing that, I had to let a secret be known to my 18-year-old son. And that secret was the why. Why do you feel a need to not connect with your dad in such a way that is harmonious as we would want it to be? Bro, what are you talking about? As I thought about it, I felt a need to tell my son the secret 
because I wanted to make sure I was being fair to him, like I would have loved for generations of many times others being fair to me as a child. So as his mom, I let him receive something that was so heavy on me for years, but with the focus of protecting him. So I would keep him away from his granddad in a way because I said, well, I want to make sure that I guide this relationship in a way that I feel that when he becomes an adult, he can handle himself. But as a child, I want him to know that my dealing with granddad can be very uncomfortable. And that uncomfortableness started at the age of 19. And here I am at 44, just letting my son know at 18 the secret. I know that when it comes to mental health, it can be very overwhelming. And that's the reason why I share with you all lovingly that secret that I am now expressing healing in this present moment. Because when it comes to the choice, I have chosen to heal in all areas of my life as best as I can. I was in a scenario where my dad, truth, he had just experienced being incarcerated for, I think that was like 10 years of my life, yes, because I was nine, and he's coming home newly, and I'm happy because my dad knew about something that occurred when I was 17 when my mom just passed. I experienced a rape. And so in that, my dad was that I would have protected you, so I'm trusting my dad and sharing information with him because I want to be stronger when it comes to being the creator that I am, be comfortable with myself. So when my dad come, I'm like trusting dad, we drinking, and in that trusting, him examining his own child's body, he touched it, I withdrew, and I stopped him, and I'm very grateful that I was able to. But then I also took on trust, you trust, and look what happened. So in sharing that with my son, and I share this with you all, the gratitude of knowing that my why is an honor to be present as I am. Because I know that mental healing is something that I'm gifted because I choose to accept it. So as I continue to heal, I am honored to share this secret, which is now my healing. And I will continue to accept my healing because it is a gift to the world. I heal with you. Oh. Hey everyone. Oh Lord, she took forever, bro. Damn, damn. But, man, y'all like, comment, subscribe, bro. Share, share the video, roll it to 2,000, bro. I'm just jump, bro. Please, bro.